fuck is the point of hearing, hearing, seeing, feeling a Xerox of the first movie? It's like Gus Van Sant's psycho all over again, and that wasn't a good movie, folks. Why do I need to see a Xerox of it? I just go watch the first movie! And then, like, they're going to preschool, and they, they drop off the pharmacy. And this is a decent scene. Again, I'm, I'm honest. Whether you agree or disagree, I'm going to be honest. A decent scene where you have these micro naps happening, the guy's trying to get, you know, drugs, adrenaline, stuff like that. And Nancy's coming in, she, the shitty actress. But I like the scene where she's in between the pharmacy and the dream world. So, like, Freddy slams down when it's the boiler room, and then in the same shot, it cuts to the pharmacy where things slam into the stuff on the wall and bottles and shit fall to the ground. Then it cuts right back to him finishing the move. That was interesting. I'm like, okay, I, didn't, I haven't seen that before in an Elm Street film. That's cool. If it brought more level of that, perhaps, but... That was one pretty cool, decent scene. But that's it. She goes to the hospital. Um, the mom signs out, but she's gone. The, her non-boyfriend boyfriend grabs some adrenaline, jets in, both into it. They get to fucking preschool. They find out the truth. Like, there's pictures of Nancy. We don't see him up close. And basically say, oh, we were wrong. He didn't want us to come in here because we bullshitted him. Um, he wanted us to come here because we told on him. And basically that Freddy really did this. I'm like, we already fucking knew that he already did it. I mean, that's the thing. You're ahead of the characters by five miles. Like, you can't even see him in the fucking distance. Where the fuck are you? That's how far ahead you are on the characters. It's like, I'm already... Five miles ahead from the other head of the story. I'm fucking blubbering and blathering because nothing just gives nothing. Unless maybe you're stoned. Nah, I can't say that. There's some people who like this movie and that's cool. I'm not going to ridicule you for liking this movie. This is cool. I just find nothing bad. And then you have the finale where, you know, when she was in the pharmacy, she had ripped a piece of uh, Freddy's sweater, you know, the shirt. And, you know, Nancy's going to do it, but then the boyfriend's falling asleep, and he gets slashed, and you think he's dead, but he's not. And Nancy here is, I can't call her a bitch, because I know people would take offense. She's weak ass. Weak so Weak ass. Weak, not ass. Ass. Like, ass. Like, it stinks. It stinks. That's right, it stinks. I'm like... Nancy in the first movie made fucking booby traps, you know, set shit up, had to do the shit by her fucking self. She was even locked in her own fucking home with fucking crowbar, you know, the bars on the windows and shit. And she kicked ass. She punched Freddy when she had to, or kicked Freddy when she had to. She set up the fucking booby traps. She's like, come on, Freddy. Come on, Kruger, I'm right here. Do the fucking fire on him. She's like, I take back all the power I ever gave on you. You're nothing. You're shit. I'm like, you. Yeah. That's a fucking hero. Here? Wake me up. Wake me up, Quentin. And then Quentin, who's fucking slashed up on his chest. And this is why I said before, I kind of thought the guy was alright, because he's slashed up and he still has to fucking get the adrenaline in. She grabs Freddy, and then he just bit slapped. He just fucking cut here too. And what does Nancy say? Get him, Quentin! <laughs> you bitch! I shouldn't say that, I know, because people take a pinch. But I re this is one instance I think that really... Calling her a bitch really is the right course of action. It's not just 
on PC. This is the actual course of action to call her that. Because the girl, the guy has a fucking shh and a fucking shh and got bitch slapped. And now she's gotta fight some more? Fuck that, man. You get off your ass and do something. But oh, she gets the, the big hero moment and says, Welcome to my world, bitch. Which. I swear to God, Magic Kina and Favorite Jason said almost the same fucking line. Doesn't she say the same fucking line and do the same thing? Welcome to my world, bitch. And then slices at Freddy? While in that film, Fravors J.C. cut the head off, and in this one, she just slices his neck and he almost falls off. It's like almost the same fucking thing Fravors and Jason, now that I think about it. The same fucking thing! It's like almost the same fucking line. Maybe the exact same line, but almost the same fucking line. And almost the same fucking thing! Cut his head off or cut his neck? If you see Fravors and Jason, look at the ending. How it, they kill Freddy. And look at the... This is... So I ripped off Freeman's Jason. <laughs> I just know that. Oh, he died of a Then he goes to the hospital. She comes home with the mom. Freddy's there in the mirror. Comes in, reaches in, goes through the mom. So the claws come out of her eyes, pulls her back, and then that's the end of the movie. And I'm like... <laughs> I was meaning to hit the camera, you know. I fucked up, but I was meaning to do this. This movie just gives me... This movie... All those times I bitched about before... I had good fucking reason to! I probably, you know, drowned people's ears out with that, but... If you like the movie, great! If you don't bitch at me about it, you're banned! I don't give a fuck about this. I don't care if you like the movie or not. That's cool. I'm not going to hound you for it. I'm not going to bam out for you. I'm not going to say you're stupid for liking it. I'm not. I'm not going to do that. I'm not. I'm just, I won't do it. If you don't do the same with me, you can just fuck off. This movie just sucks. It sucks. It sucks. Shitty actors. Bad performances pretty much all around. Dr. O'Haley was not that impressive. The sling blade mixed with Warshad voice thin cut for most of the time. If he had little bits of dark humor, they were stupid. They were not funny. They were like, oh, lame, wow, woo, you were petting him. whoop de fucking do I'm not impressed. This <laughs> is ass, man. <laughs> And the, the butt face mixed with an alien face. Oh, it's realistic. Well, it's a film about a guy who kills people in dreams and you're worried about realism. Um, don't tell me, oh, you want Robert Allen? Well, of course, but if he doesn't do it, just don't do the movie. I would rather just not have the movie. No more Elm Street movies. We don't... They've done eight movies. That's enough. Come up with something different. You want to deal with dreams? The Cell. That was actually pretty damn good. Dreamscape, they came up with that before Elm Street. It was something different at its time. Come up with something original. Hell, even Inception. I haven't seen Inception, but that was about dreams. Do something original, for fuck's sake. Don't ride the coattails of the fucking name just so you can get the number one opening weekend, which you did. This movie just... So shitty acting... Don't give a fuck about Jackie O'Haley and his buff face mixed with the alien face. Kind of like the arrival. Remember those aliens in the arrival? A little bit of that with the buff face. Um, the plot was either run of the mill, because I saw in the first movie, or it doesn't make sense. Well, all these kids have amnesia. Bullshit! My dick! Uh, I, your female hero is one of the worst female heroes ever. Amy Steele could get the shit out of this girl. Dana Kimmel from Fire Thunder Part 3 could get the shit. Lisa Wilcox can, you know, kung fu her ass, you know, bunza, you know. 
took the shit out of her with nunchucks. Lisa Lokas should beat the shit out of this girl with nunchucks. There you go. That's the word. Tuesday night could get the shit out of this girl. Helen Langkamp and definitely. Remember Expendables when Dolph Lundgren lifted Jet Li? Helen Langkamp can lift this girl. Boom, Thor this the fucking wall. This movie is the biggest bunch of pussified bullshit I've ever seen in the long ass time. And it's just one of the mill. It's mediocre. It's fucking talentless. It's a waste of celluloid. You might as well wipe your ass with it and put it on the fucking screen. Okay? You might as fucking well. It's about the same quality. Shitty. Sha 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 shitty. I don't care if this is over the top. I don't care if I whine like a bitch. People in the movie do. Samuel Barras did. Oh, get out of your home. Yeah, get out of your home, Samuel Barras. Learn how to make a good movie. Go to directing school. You know. If Samuel Barras can be a whiny bitch, I can be a whiny bitch. Okay? If I made a poor video with this review, at least I did it with no budget and no money. This guy made a lame ass movie with 30, 20, 30 million bucks. So he's the bigger idiot. I may be an idiot, he's the bigger idiot. It took him 20, 30 minutes, well, 20, 30 million dollars, to come up with just as shitty of a video as I did with this 20, 30 minute review. <laughs> you know? And also, don't fucking tell me, oh, I wasted my time watching your video. In the first five minutes, if you didn't gather this with a rant and then you watch the rest of the video, you're a fucking idiot. Oh, I don't judge something until I see it all. You get the golf clap. At least, I, again, at least I didn't fucking spend money on it. These motherfuckers spend 20, 30 million dollars to make pretty much a recreation of the first film, only dumbed down, badly acted, horrible CGI, um, routine kills, and no imagination. You don't have dreams, and yet you have no fucking imagination. A dreams in which you can do anything. <laughs> I mean, you don't have the preschool. Have the preschool. If you don't, fine. You don't rip stuff. You don't rip shit off. Why don't you just rip off Amityville Horror so that when they go into preschool and have the fucking walls drip with blood red, have the blood drip off the walls, have the mothers drown in them. Vault of blood, okay? <laughs> there was none of that. It just, it was boring, it was unimaginative, it was horribly acted, the script sucked ass. It was a recreation of the first one, and the shit they added sucked ass. It was stupid, idiotic, pulling, ball breaking, cock blocking, cock knocking piece of shit. Movie. Can suck on my gold plated dick. So I saw the movie. I didn't like the movie. So the Springwood Elm. More power to you if you like the movie. That's cool. I can't condone this movie. I don't want to see a sequel to this movie. That's why I didn't pay money for this movie. I want to give money to a movie that deserves it. Oh, you're doing. Yeah, for this movie, fucking A. This movie doesn't deserve to be made. Did not deserve to make any money. It did not deserve to be in existence. This is no point to it. It's not entertaining. It's not funny. It's not scary. There's nothing to it. Just go watch the first fucking movie. Watch the first eight movies. Okay? Then let's move on. Let's do something new. Eight movies was enough. <laughs> you know? <laughs> enough said. So... That's my review rant for this movie. Thanks for watching. And fuck this movie. I can suck on my dick.